points. There's a spark plug. This thing was dripping. Everything was dripping when I pulled it out. Although it didn't look like it was dripping anything oily. It looked almost clear like gasoline or water. And uh, this problem didn't really happen until it started raining lately. Oh, there's dripping more. Yeah, that got up all over the, uh, the socket, all over the extension. Although, the tip doesn't really look dirty. So I think the spark plug's okay. I guess there's a bunch of water on that. Let's see if we can look inside there. I don't see any liquid visible anyway. Looks like there might be some oil down there. Okay, so it looks like I might be finding water down here. This is coil pack number four. Let's see if I can get a good look at it. Looks like it has possibly oil on there. That oh, looks like dog crap. Let's see if we get a good look inside chamber four. like there might be oil in there. Alright, this is after I have cleaned up as much of that water as possible. So I didn't actually end up taking the spark plug out of chamber 4 because when I shoved this in, it splashed water at me. And looks like there might be oil. Same stuff that was on the coil pack. Whether it be oil or some other kind of lubricant. Alright, I'm putting everything back together. All the spark plugs are in their place. They're cleaned off, all the coil packs are cleaned off. Uh, not as much water out of these, these wells as possible. Now when I'm putting this back together, I noticed that somewhere over here, where is that? Over here, this is the cable that connects all the, the you know, cabling to the quill packs. And notice how there's a dip right there. That might be one place of failure where water could possibly get in. Maybe, well, just a thought. Because I don't think that little foam there is doing much of a job of, um, you know, holding, holding water out. Just a thought. Looks like it's pretty pretty solid in the line. I screwed it on pretty tight. The real test. I'm drive this thing around a little bit to see if I get it to misfire after cleaning it. Well, by the sounds of it, it may not be taken care of. Drive it slowly around, see what we hear. Getting it up to faster speed, somewhere around 45 ish, because that's when it starts to misfire. Well, I'm getting cops in my ass for holding up my phone and driving. Oh, there's a car over there. Okay. And let's go. so good but I'm not on the accelerator right now. Let's slow down and give it some more gas to see if uh, it fights it again and starts misfiring. Uh oh. Yeah it was right there. Let's try that again. It's 
not as bad as it was, but it's still a problem. I didn't check the driver's side bank of, of uh, wells either, <clears throat> so there's a chance that chance there might be water in one of them too, or if not all of them. 